So, um, you guys have uh, flown um, for approximately a day. Um, you've gotten pretty familiar with this path, know where you're kind of going. Go, you just get over the uh, um, area of, uh, of the Lurkwood Mountains. Um, there's quite a few clouds that are kind of here, kind of big, large, bilious clouds that kind of come and go. Uh, there's no lightning. There's no real weather that's there. It's just sort of large, cumulus clouds. So, um, as you uh, continue, you do hear occasionally the sounds of uh, what sounds like a... a, a some sort of a animal maybe dying down below or whatnot, but really you don't have any anything chasing you or or uh, kind of investigating and whatnot. Uh, you do see the castle, uh, the cloud castle that you assume is the one, um, and it's uh, um, definitely matches the location of the oracle as described. And you can see it off in the distance. Um, and again, this picture's here. You don't see the um, yeah. So you you see the the kind of castle there, and about every 15 minutes or so as you get closer you hear this loud sort of it sounds like a, a huge beast but almost like crying out in pain and it's Arr! and then uh, as you get closer to the castle you continue to uh, hear it yeah I can absolutely um, and uh, this kind of the sound that's there um, you do see the castle it's quite a bit off in the distance um, quite a ways away probably about a half mile or so it's still at this point but as you continue to get closer that uh, the sound continues to get louder. It seems to be coming almost from the castle itself. It's going to share the this map here just to kind of show where you're at. So you guys are flying kind of right over Nesme, or pretty close to it, which is just a tiny little village uh, of whatnot. Hmm. How would you guys like to approach? What time of day is it? Uh, it's daytime. Carefully? Yeah, what are our options? Well, there's lots of little clouds, so I suppose you could probably dip in and out of the clouds if you wanted to. Um, you know, trying to, to see where things are at. You could circle around, you could go land immediately. Um, I have a great picture, but, um, and I can't. Yeah, I have to unfortunately block some of it. But well, well didn't they say that what we needed was in the highest tower? Yeah. Yep. So yeah. why don't we maybe go there and see if we can maybe repel in out of the clouds to the highest tower? So this is kind of what the castle looks like. Um, as you're kind of you know kind of hiding in the clouds, so to, so to speak, kind of peeking out and peeking back, you sort of see this this kind of building here. You do see there are um, uh, what appears to be uh, creatures kind of walking along some of these parpets that are here. Um, and you see what looks like um, Aracola, um kind of standing uh, along the edges looking out. And these little, you see there's these little uh, things that are pointing out uh, right there. There's like a little brown thing. Those are look like large... Uh, spy glasses kind of looking out in all directions and a lot of them do have um, what looks like giants kind of around them now are we coming into this thinking that these giants are against us or gonna be helpful to us like uh, Harshnag or Sephiros well Harshnag was trying to like antagonize her or, yeah, her. So, but that doesn't yeah. mean that she's evil. Now, what was her? Her name's not Lynn Armal. That's the name of the cap, the I Cloud so. Castle, right? Correct. It's like Sansuri, I think, is her name or something mm -hmm. similar. Sansuri. Countess. Yep. I think we should be better off coming in at night. I'm okay with that. I think we uh, we glow like a big light bulb, though. Yep. Oh, that's right. Oh, we already had it. this discussion. So as you guys are looking, Zathalia says, um, she's like, um, 
Not a lot of good places to land down there. I could land on the grass, I guess. And uh, maybe maybe in front of the, the gatehouse over there. That, that cloud looks pretty pretty big enough to maybe land on if I can sit on it. Well, I don't think you need to land. You stay airborne and we repel. Oh. Okay. Uh, hey, hey, guys, I have I, I've got an idea. I so, know a great idea. <laughs> we were we were stud I was studying while while we were flying here, and I I've learned how to turn into a giant bird, and I can also polymorph one of you into a giant bird also, and so Stig and I could both be like giant eagles or ravens or something like that, and then carry Barry and Milton down. And keep the skyship far away from danger, so that well, if they don't you're, see us. I mean, are you going to be a rock? Is that what you are? Because those things are like humongous. No, it'd be an eagle. A rock isn't a beast. A ro I can't do. I don't. A rock is something else. Yeah, it's a monstrosity. I just looked it, it up. You could probably yeah. carry all three of us, since me and Barry are tiny folk. What? Yeah. It, can can a single giant eagle carry all three of them? I think so. I would I would probably say that's probably the case. It's a large okay. creature, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, if, they, if it was three yeah. medium, like big, you know, normal human sized people, yeah, I think it'd probably be an issue. But with two little ones, sure, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I, I think so I'm, I'm thinking guys, like he's a horse. <laughs> right. So if you guys, if you if we want to do this, we'll just have the ship fly down into the lower clouds. Uh, and maybe just kind of follow along till it becomes dark, maybe, and then do this. Or do we want to do it in the broad daylight? No, no, no. Dark's better. I, I don't know this for sure, but I'm thinking that giants don't have dark vision. The ones that we fought against, they had didn't have dark vision, did they? Not that you know of. Not that you remember. Well, are the are the clouds so thick that we could get close enough and drop in on it, or is it, you know, like clouds below and then yeah. splotchy clouds yeah, here and that's there? That's exactly what it's yeah. like. It's like splotchy clouds. It's uh, those yeah. big, those big white poofy ones. Yeah, so we'd have a hard time uh, making a straight approach without being seen. As you guys are there, you hear this loud yell again, and, and it almost sounds, um, you kind of recognize it as almost dragon-like, but it sounds like it's in severe pain. This, ah, and it kind of bellows out from the tower itself. The tower doesn't seem to be very bothered by it, by their normal business. Yeah, Melton, you're so not sure. The, the tower that we're, we Looking want at. to... Uh, no, oh, the okay. actual castle, I'm sorry, the castle. You hear it just generally oh. coming from the castle. Do we recognize it like a voice or is it just, it's a, just it's, in general it's, not, still? Yeah, it's not really a voice. It just sounds like like almost like a dragon screaming out in pain. Like a bronze dragon, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Do you think they have Felglas? No, that's too much of a coincidence. But if it's a dragon, it probably deserves to be tortured well, or whatever. Not all, not all dragons are bad. Well, Fal Falcolos is not, and we met that silver dragon. I hope it's that blue dragon. That blue dragon is hopefully uh, buried. Yeah, we hope that one's dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess we direct the ship to kind of stay out of sight, like maybe stay directly under the castle. Okay. At a, but you know, at another level below, uh, another level of clouds. Sure. Yeah, I got and you. And then just kind of move along with it and wait till dark, and then we'll enact our plan. Sounds like sounds good. It's uh, stationary. It's been sitting over the moors here, so um, you know some clouds will, will kind of move, and then you'll see the airship sort of try to weave in between clouds and whatnot um, until at least it's dark, right? Yeah, that, or we could even have the airship land at this point. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's up to you guys. What would you prefer? Yeah, we need to have a signal for the airship to come get us in case we get uh, in a trouble. Uh, when the castle starts to crash into the ground, come get us. 
<laughs> that, that earth, a deep gnome, falls from the sky. <laughs> Catch him when load. we throw him off. <laughs> yeah. How about when uh, Milton throws a platinum coin off the side? <laughs> that's that's the safe word right there. That means come get us. <laughs> Things are really bad when Milton starts throwing, <laughs> yeah, throwing money. coin, right? <laughs> This is true. <laughs> well, maybe some kind of spell that does like some kind of pyrotechnics where they can see it. Uh, let's see. I can drop a fireball on him. That's about all I've got. Yeah, me too. Uh, I don't even know if I'll have it at that point. Yeah, we probably want something that's pretty... Uh... Uh, like a cantrip. Like light on one of Milton's platinum pieces. <laughs> well, we could do it all copper pieces, and but we can. Well, you can only cast one light at a time, so that's a problem. Yeah, but both um, Stig and I have it, so uh, they've got two chances <laughs> to see like a tiny coin that's glowing, <laughs> that's falling from a castle. What about light on an arrow? Yeah. Or even a flaming arrow, for that matter. A flaming arrow with light on it. Double it up. Yeah, you would think that, you know, my, my weapon's named Firebolt, I could shoot firebolts, but I guess it don't. You haven't figured that out yet. I'm going to go ahead and cast uh, Mage Armor. Alrighty, sounds good. You want it, Rolini? Sure, any armor is good armor. And you said these are Aarakocca walking about? They're not walking, they're just standing there. But yeah, they, well, they look like Aarakocca, white Aarakocca. Well, I'm going to use my hat of disguise and look like a white Aarakocca too. Alrighty, sounds good. They stand in like guards type? Like guards, yep, they're just kind of spread all apart. You also see there's a large chessboard uh, on one of the uh, on one of the platforms, like human-like size chessboard, or yeah. See that on the picture. There's also two large openings down here. I don't know if you saw those, but those are open. They're not windows like the rest of these. All right, so the plan is to go in under cover of dark, sneak in, see if we can find this conch, and then get out, right? Oh, well, yeah, and look for treasure. You forgot about that. Okay, so while we're waiting, I'll just try to keep an eye on the castle, see, you know, what's coming and going. Sure. Kind so, of get an idea of what we're up against. Yeah, so um, throughout the time of just kind of floating around as you guys are passing time to go by, um, you do continue to hear that sort of that wailing scream. There'll be some breaks of about, uh, you know, 30 minutes or an hour in between, but then you'll hear a series of five, six, seven type of, of wails. Um, and then uh, you do see that the... Um, uh, Cloud Giants do walk around the surface of the, the um, buildings, the top of the grounds. They also walk around that uh, parpet that has kind of a, a circular uh, walkway there, so that one there. Um, but the Arakoa, the uh, white Arakoa, don't move. Do they look like statues? They kind of do, actually. Now that they're, you're kind of watching them, I mean, they don't. You don't see. You've never seen one move. Um, they could very well be statues. I'll ask uh, the captain to borrow her um, spyglass and yeah. just get a better look. All right. So as you look at them, um, they are completely white. Um, they have definitely all the definitions that you would expect. They look like an Arakoa. Um, it's almost as if they've been spray painted white, essentially. Um, they look icy almost. Um, 
and you do see like a little steam kind of raising off a couple of them that are outside in the sunlight. This is a cloud giant, right? A cloud giant castle? Looks like it. You see cloud giants walking around. Uh, kind of their hair is all steamy and the, um, the male ones have sort of this cloudy type of beard that's there, but yeah. Do you guys know or have any idea if they like can freeze? Like, yeah, freeze. I quickly pu pull out my Volo's guide and <laughs> start looking to see if I can find anything. Uh, you don't see anything of that unless there's a spellcaster or someone that can cast a, um, you know, like a frost spell or something like that. Yeah, I'm not aware of uh, cloud giants, really. On the very top section that you guys are looking at to get at that top tower, I think that's what your plan was. Um, you see six of them. And uh, it looks like every other one, one is facing out and one is facing in. And they're spread out in a circle. So the one looks out, one looks in, one looks out, one looks in, all the way around the circle. You notice it's the same on the rest of the parpets as well on the tower, the two lower grass-covered towers, as well as the uh, the ramp that goes around. Oh, sorry, not the, the ramp that goes around. That doesn't have any of them. It just has a couple of uh, cloud giants walking around. And they seem to have, uh, as you look, they seem to be carrying large sacks, and there seems to be a lot, what looks like a bunch of objects in them. They're weighed down pretty heavily. Can we tell which tower, like those, the beast screams are coming from? So you hear, um, kind of looking, you definitely hear it coming from uh, sort of the uh, the tower with the glass, the observatory. Yeah, that side. But you can't tell if it's coming from the whole the doorway opening to the center tower, or if it's coming from the doorway openings below the observatory. But it definitely sounds like it's coming from that side as you guys have sort of been circling around the, the tower, kind of checking it out. Okay, I guess um, we just wait for nightfall. And then whenever Melton says it's good enough, we'll go. Okay. Sounds good. Um, so as you guys are underneath the cloud, because I think you guys said that it was going to be underneath with the, uh, the airship, you're going to have it float in the clouds. I can't remember what your plan was with the airship. Well, I originally said just floating below it, but, you know, at this point it doesn't matter if it lands. whatever you guys think doesn't matter to me well I think it's in the moors and the captain said that it would be difficult to find a place Correct. to land she did say that before all right well she can just hover wherever she thinks is the safest for the for the airship then she would know best I don't think anywhere safe plus it's just me and brass but we'll do our best says we'll, we'll hold tight underneath and hopefully we can stay under the castle um, as it starts to get dark you notice that um, uh, you can start to see the darkness you guys are in the cloud itself um, you do see that the the ball does give off a light uh, within the cloud itself um, but that being said it is in a cloud and it uh, um, you know it appears to be okay but it gets quite dark um, uh, she's like are you waiting for for true darkness or just twilight Looks nervously around. Like, oh, ah, true darkness, true darkness. Okay, so uh, time continues, and it's difficult to tell just because the balloon does illuminate uh, the cloud, so it's hard to tell whether it's truly dark, but it appears that after about 30 minutes that the, the darkness is not getting any darker, per se. Um, the wailing has stopped since uh, nightfall has come down, um, and you just kind of hear a, a kind of a low moan every once in a while, like... Arr. Uh, I, I think we should we should go, guys. Well, 
Yep, sounds good to me. Sounds good. I agree. All right. Uh, go ahead. Can I, like, do you have, like, some straps on you so that I can hold on? I have a fear of falling from high. Oh, you don't have feather fall, do you? <laughs> I do not. <laughs> I had a feeling. I'll do my best to, to make it as safe a ride as, as, as I can. Uh, do we have some rope? or I, I guess I got rope in my pack that I pull out beforehand and, and tell them they can fashion up whatever. I can combat wild shape now for four hours, so we got plenty of time. Yeah, I'll just loop it around him uh, so that we've just got a handhold so that he has a little bit safer. As we're flying, I'm hearing the song Heavy Metal playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so where would you guys, or where are you going to attempt to enter the castle? Are you landing on the top? Okay. All right, fair enough. Yeah, I figured that. we'd go up there to the top tower. That's where they said the uh, conch was at, right? Yeah, they said in the uppermost castle, um, the highest spire. Okay. I just ask because I need to know which level of the battle map we need. Battle map? What do you mean? mean battle? Play, player map? Just because there's a battle map doesn't mean there's going to be a battle. Thank Those you. Those were man. the wise words spoken from DM last time. Uh, <laughs> That's last right. Week. And I, I, kept, I was true to my word, right? There was no battles at those mounds. Yeah, Iris said that and then threw a dragon at us. <laughs> <laughs> I love yes, it. Yes, but you already knew the dragon was there. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> All right, so I uh, will put you all on the map, and then you can decide at what direction you plan on entering. Okay, one second, let's forget y'all. Um, so as you circle around, you do see that the uh, Ericor is still perched up on the uh, the top of this. Um, you don't see any um, hill giants up here, however, and. Um, I would hope hill we would see hill giants. Not hill, cloud. Not, uh, cloud, yeah. Thank you. Now that we're closer to them, do they yeah. look like gargoyles? So they do have that strange appearance like what you would see with a gargoyle on the side of the building. They're not moving, they're just staring. Um, and they, as you get closer, they appear to look almost like ice. I mean, they definitely have that ice appearance to them. Yeah, that's what it sounded like when you described it yeah. earlier. Yeah, but now that you're closer, they definitely... Uh, here to be and the map is they made huge maps for these guys so it may take a bit for the maps to load just so you know that's their locations so you can barely see them on that map but i don't i'm not sure which way you guys want to come in so the center is the center tower right and then the uh um, the one to the bottom uh, right is the high spire Can we tell what that is? Uh, that, um, as you kind of are flying around, see that what looks like stairs going down. It's like a, a little bit of a room that has steps going down. I think it should be up to Rolena where we come in, since uh, is true. Rolena's flying. <laughs> Well, you guys got reins, so I mean, you can <laughs> <laughs> turn me if you want. Because I'd probably just, if it looks safe, I'd probably land closest to the entrance to the tower we want to be in. You can land, yeah, if you want to land there, you can. The door you see is to about uh, 27 feet tall, and it's closed. Well, there was a window there, too, we saw. There is a window above, yep, on the next level, yep, you're right. Maybe you could just dump us off in the window. Was it's that a big window? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it's giant window. <laughs> it's probably pretty. Is big. it open? <laughs> um, let me see here. Hang on one second. I'm just bringing it up so I can see the map because it's on a other level. Um, yep. So based upon the scale, we should be able to fly in the window. You may be able to. Uh, no, it's a five foot open window, so you'd have to squeeze through. Um, I'm sorry, but it is closed. It is a closed window. 
But nonetheless, there's a window there. Um, it is... Second. Is there like a ledge there where we could land? Uh, there's a small ledge. I don't know if he could hang on to it. You notice there's a sixth floor too. They didn't put the window on it, um, to be honest with you. But there's another window that is right... Uh, here. And that window has a small light in it. You also notice that, um, to answer um, Melton's question, you see that everything is is lit up pretty well. There's uh, continual uh, flame torches that kind of light up the area and give everything light here. I'm going to ask Relena if she could hover next to the sixth floor. Okay. I mean, is, it, can, is it a stone wall? I can try wall? my best. I'm not it a is a stone bird. wall. Yep. Right. Do they make giant hummingbirds? I was going to say, make yourself into a giant hummingbird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. She could kind of right, uh, sail I'll, by, I guess. Yeah I'll, yeah, I'll just make a quick nonchalant try to make his, uh, you know, make my eagle form, you know, as I fly, try to look as natural, unassuming as possible <laughs> as I fly by this window to see if I I can get a perch on it at all. I love it. Just fly back, nothing to see. <laughs> nothing to see how, here. How steep's the roof? Is it a steep it's, cone? Like it is very steep. Yeah. <laughs> that looks about, what, 60 degrees, 70 degrees? It's pretty steep. 60 probably. Well, maybe he could land right at the very pinnacle of it. He could. He could land I, on I the climb very down top. and get a pipe and then drop, nail it into the thing, and then we could, uh, or just tie it off and then take our ropes and rappel down. Says the person who's proficient in climbing. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I don't have proficiency in athletics. But I do have a potion of climbing. Well, I'm just gonna I'm gonna see as I fly by if if there's enough of a perch for me to actually stop on, or or if I I just wouldn't be able to get a grasp and hold myself on there. Yep, there is, but you definitely would have to keep the wings kind of beating in order to keep yourself in position. But there's enough for you to kind of get your claws and kind of reach and and kind of grab onto the edge there. I think right, you're ten I'm feet, gonna, aren't you? Yeah, you're ten feet. I'll go ahead and uh, try that. Okay. You kind of fly up there, and as uh, um, as you kind of reach on and kind of each claw kind of grabs, you hear a little scraping of the stone as it kind of grabs in. Um, but you do seem to kind of keep your position there, kind of trying to hold on as your your head is almost pushed up against the the window or even above it. Can we see anything in through the, the window? Um, yeah, so as you guys are kind of peeking over and taking a look inside, um, what you see is is a, um, a large uh, kind of a, a room. It looks like a bedroom. Um, and the, the room is sort of uh, covered with decorations that look um, like a noble person probably lives here. Um, the mattress uh, is is very well uh, made and is very thick. Um, looks soft, almost cloud-like. The the wood frame is um, traced with gold and gemstones are kind of all throughout the edges there. Um, you can you are able to look up and you see that the roof actually is a, a kind of inside makes kind of a tower roof at the top. It's, it looks about 60 feet above and um, you see sort of what looks like a merry-go-round. Um, or like a mobile, like a, a baby mobile, if you want to think of that. Um, and you see what looks like there's seven uh, pegasi that are kind of hanging uh, from this uh, little track, and it sort of spins around slowly. Are you finished with your description? I am. Before we get off the eagle, I gotta play. I gotta put my music on. All right. <laughs> Which uh, side of the? How's the window open? Is it on the left side, right side? <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, nice. It opens up uh, towards the. It's kind of two window panes that open up, kind of like uh, in the middle, and they open outward. Okay, I'm good now. <laughs> I just had I like to play it, man. Ride the it. eagle. I liked it. 
And the wall looks to be, what, 10 foot thick? Yes, the wall is 10 foot thick. Uh, Maybe not even 10 foot. It's like 8 foot. Uh, Even worse. (laughs) Crusher. I was picturing a lizard jumping and taking out the wall at the same time. Stone shape. Uh, Melton, you see that the bed's headboard, there's a secret compartment you can see from outside this window. Oh, there must be the conch. Do we see anybody in there? Uh, You don't see anybody in there. Well, how about the eagle? I'll go over to the big giant oh, headboard. The windows are closed. You have to oh. open the window. Oh, open the window. Ready? Um, eagle's going to have to let go because they open outwards. It's going to be a little okay. tricky. Yeah, he hops off, and <clears throat> I'll just kind of back away a little bit and try my best to kind of hover. All righty. Sounds good. So you kind of try, you're kind of up and down and sort of swooping back and forth. It's difficult, but you can still, you're still kind of able to get certain glimpses of uh, inside the window and, and watching Melton sort of hanging on as he's trying to open up one of those windows. I think I might drink this potion of climbing right now. Alrighty. So you see Melton waif down a quick potion. Yeah, because the ledge is a, it's a few feet, a couple feet, but still. Yeah, just in case. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to open the window. Is it locked or anything? Nope, it's not. Well, I'll, I'm assuming that it's got, like, two parts. kind of like a shutter-type deal. Yep. Uh, yeah. So um, the, uh, the the window is pretty heavy, though, so I do need an athletics check. It's a giant window. Can I touch him? Am I close enough? I think you guys are kind of floating around. I don't think you can touch them. You could yell to them, or, well, you probably don't want to do that, but um, you're trying to give them guidance is what you're trying to do. Mm-hmm. You're, you're within five feet of them. But I don't think you can touch them. Um, so, Mountain, you pull and pull and pull and pull again and pull, and finally, you know, kind of shrug your shoulders thinking it's not going to open, and it it's pulls open just a little bit where you can kind of wiggle in between. <laughs> It was a push open, wasn't it? It was. Push <laughs> no, it pulls open. It does pull open. All right, I'm gonna put my back into it now to see if I can really get it open. All right, sounds good. So as you kind of push your back to it and, and kind of push it open, um, you do, but you hear a, a kind of a loud screech goes screech, as it kind of rubs against the rocks. Somebody needs to grease their window. Huh. Maybe if I put some oil, I got oil slipperiness, I could put that on the hinges so it doesn't screech. There you go. All right. Well, I guess I'll do that. I put a little oil slippery, you okay. know, put, put a little drop here on the hinge there and put a drop there. And sure. See if, see if I could quiet it down. All righty. I don't uh, know if I'd use all of it, but I mean, I uh, know. Take a little dab here, a little dab there. That's fine. It's just on the hinges, so. All right, uh, so the one window is open. Uh, Relania, you're out there, you know, trying to, to do your best. Uh, however, this is pretty difficult for you. Yeah, I'll once that window opens, I'll <clears throat> kind of back away and straighten myself out and get a better glide, and I'll get back up onto the, the right. sill so the yeah. other two can jump off. Sure. So, yeah, you get up there, and you're kind of hanging on that sill that's there. I try to tell Stig to help me open up the other window. Alrighty. Uh, can you reach it? Yeah, you guys can jump off if you want to, and uh, I mean, one of the windows open, so half of it, half of the opening is there, and you can cl- actually walk, you know, climb on the windowsill to get in if you need to. Okay, I'll hop off and. Okay. We'll wait for Barry, and then we'll open the window. All right, sounds good. We're ready. All right. And then I'll just kind of back away and and just kind of. Uh, kind of circle, um, trying to keep out of sight, obviously, but close enough to where I can eagle eye in and make sure they're not running into any trouble. Sounds good. They should be able to fly in the window, can't you? You'd have to squeeze through if he went in like a dart. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't do me a whole lot of good, though. <laughs> <laughs> 
right. I'm, I'm going to check out where I saw that secret compartment at. All right, gotcha. So you kind of go over, and as you're um, looking at that bed, it's this um, beautifully ornate. And obviously, I mean, the bed is very high, so um, you'd have to climb up. But you see there's jewels that are all on the side of it, um, and you see the... the uh, the hidden compartment, but it's the size of a secret door for you.